Okay. Folks, it is really good to, to be able to join with you this evening and just have a little bit of a chat about young adults. This is just an opportunity. We're doing this across different weeks in our clinic services while we're in lockdown to catch up with different people and different ministries in terms of what's going on and just to encourage people that there are a lot of things still going on during lockdown. Um, it's great to welcome the four of you, Niall and Emily and Emily, Emily Mack and Emily M. That'll get even more confusing in a few months' time, but we'll, we'll leave that story for another day. And David as well, it's great to have you all with me. Um, we're just going to talk a little bit about young adults, and but also more specifically about Word Go. But before we do that now, maybe I'll begin with you and just ask, obviously the last year has been incredibly challenging for everyone, but uh, there have probably been specific challenges for young adults generally, and also us as a ministry in terms of serving young adults. You know, you want to go into a wee bit of detail about that and your reflections on that? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think, you know, as a young adult ministry, we've always had the kind of community spirit around us and, and we've always kind of organized events that are in person and we're able to, you know, get together with lots of people, you know, big numbers and um, you've got friendships, relationships and all that kind of thing. So whenever that's obviously taken apart, um, we, you know, are all kind of isolated and, and staying at home and that kind of thing. And so, it's been a real challenge, I suppose, just for young adults to actually stay connected and, and feel a part of the church, feel a part of the, the ministry, like the young adult ministry. Um, so I guess that was the challenge. And then, um, yeah, Word Go's kind of um, been an option to to connect in. So That's brilliant. Appreciate that. Emily, you are uh, on the ministry team along with Niall and myself and, and Ruth Jenkins and Mike Sterling and, and Sandra, my wife as well, and a couple of others. But um Basically, back in September time, you and Niall took on that sort of responsibility, that challenge of, of starting up a Word Go group. Do you want to maybe give us the, the sort of background for that, the, the thinking behind that, um, and then just how that's gone over the last few months? Yeah, well, we did a pilot study, I suppose, um, last year in February time, and that um, had a good uptake. So then in, in September, we decided to give it another go because we were using the word go app um, and it's really accessible and it has the passage and questions um, and notes and various things on it. So it's fairly self-led. So we just decided to start it up um, and we originally met in person for a few weeks and then moved to Zoom. Um, and then the studies just continued to grow. We started maybe with about eight to 10 of us and now we've got about 30, so it's good. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. And in terms of you're talking about where go there, a lot of people might not know what that is. Uh, and you're saying there about how self-led it is, for example. So that doesn't mean that you and Niall or anybody else really has to do loads of prep as a Bible study leader beforehand. Um, how does that work in terms of the, the word go app and so on? So the app has um, the passage for, well, it has a study overall on it and then it has the passage for the day. Um, and then it's got questions relating to that. So then we, on a Thursday night, go through the questions um, for that week um, and just discuss those. And then anything else that's kind of stood out to um, each of us throughout the week. Brilliant, brilliant. And in terms of the studies that you've actually covered so far, you've just, uh, these are sort of smaller studies and you've just kept going, haven't you? You've just added one on after the other. So what, what sort of um, books have you been in so far? Um, we started off in First Kings looking at Solomon, <laughs> I have to think back, um, and then we looked at Joshua, and then now we're in Hebrews. Fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, thank you for that. Um, the other Emily, uh, you are one of the group of people who are meeting each week, and I know you were in the pilot group a while back as well. Um, in terms of you personally, just in terms of connecting, in terms of your relationship with God and that sort of thing, um, have you found this beneficial? Why have you found it beneficial? Uh, maybe give us a wee bit of feedback on that. Yeah, so um, I think for me, kind of something we sort of struggle with maybe is knowing what to read in the Bible. Um, and kind of then once you finish studying something, you know, what are you going to move on to next? So Word Goes being really good just to um, have something that's very regular. As Emily was saying, you kind of set it up for yourself. Um, to study it every day. So every day you actually get like a <laughs> notification on your phone that says um, what today's reading is gonna be. So um, that's really good because it gives you something regular every day. And then obviously at 
on a Thursday night, you come and you discuss that with lots of other young adults, um, which has just been really good because it's maybe been passages and um, parts of the Bible, especially King Solomon, like I didn't really know anything about before. And um, so it's things that you maybe wouldn't naturally turn to in the Bible. Um, and now you're doing a really in-depth study um, alongside other people. Uh, I think because you're doing it with other people as well, you kind of are more likely to take more time to actually answer the questions because you're going to have to answer them in front of your group on Thursday night. So um, yeah, that's been really good. And in terms of um, other people, you know, we're not able to meet in church at the minute. So you're not seeing lots of other young adults. Um, so to come together as a group and actually discuss God's word and take some time out of your week to do that um, is really good. So yeah, I find it really beneficial. I appreciate that, Emily. Thank you. Thank you, David. Uh, we were just chatting before we officially started this recording about the fact that you're studying for university from home and the challenges in that. You've added in another study with, with Word Go. How have you found it from, from your perspective in terms of in terms of connection and in terms of just how this has benefited you? I find it really helpful. Um, I really enjoy the studies um, and I, I really look forward to Thursday night. Um, it's quite hard because obviously with uni and everything and you know sports and basically everything's cancelled um and it's really nice to be able to connect with other people who are of similar ages and are going through similar things um you know some of the group are of similar ages to me some are a bit older and just you know they've, they've done maybe a wee bit further than i have and it really helps because you get to sort of bunch your ideas off other people um and it's just nice to see people you know, as much as there's seven people in my house, it's nice to see other people and actually have a chat to them, um, which is just really enjoyable. And, and I really love it. You know, and would you find the same as Emily that having that sort of community aspect and accountability aspect has helped in terms of you getting into studies, in terms of your ongoing relationship with God and so on? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I find it very easy to like nearly read the Bible as a tick box exercise and you fly through it. You take the box and you're done. Um, but the way that the app breaks it down and the fact that I know that it, I'm going to have to give my answers to other people on a Thursday night, it really makes you sit down and spend time uh, really, you know, focusing on it and meditating just on the That's brilliant. I appreciate that. And in terms of maybe just for those who have heard about Word Go and uh, young adults who've heard about the opportunity but have gone, uh never been on that before, the idea of starting off something on Zoom with people that I might not know that well. Um, would you, how would you encourage them in that? I would say just come along. Um, you know, there's, there's so many ways to get involved. And, and we are all friendly people. Um, you know, we they all smile on the camera. Um, nice to be able to chat to people. So come along. If it's not for you, you don't have to stay. There's no pressure. Um, just come, try a few weeks to studies we've done so far are quite short it only sort of four maybe five weeks long it's not that big a time commitment come and give it a go um and you'll probably stay no i appreciate that thank you and that is a key thing to say and i think one of the real advantages of this is you guys are choosing sort of shorter studies four or five weeks where somebody can jump in and you've probably had people who have done one or two studies and then the next one doesn't suit or they decide to step out for a time or whatever so yeah as you say it's not signing your life away for the next x number of years in a, in a study so that's that's good to hear now just back to you as we as we finish in terms of uh, as a church we're always keen to know how we can uh, be praying for different people, different ministries, what do you think would be the important things to be remembering you guys in, in prayer at the minute? Yeah, I guess, I guess um, for just all the kind of students and young adults that are, are connected to, um, to Glen Abbey Church, um, and then also obviously, you know, our, our times together on a Thursday, that they would be fruitful and um, that we would all be able to engage with each other and, and um, you know, get a lot of, out of the studies. Um, but then I guess also th those that are perhaps not um, able to, to engage in some way with Word Go, um, that at least, you know, they could connect with, you know, through other means, maybe it's home group or, or otherwise. But um, yeah, I guess just those connection points that they would be kind of kept up and um, those kind of solid Christian friendships and relationships that they would be kind of held strong, you know, th through the lockdown and um, particularly when you know a lot of us are kind of isolated from meeting in person and, and um, catching up with those people that you perhaps just 
natural you see on a, on a Sunday at church, but um, you know might not be able to see outside of church. So, yeah, yeah that's that's good. We appreciate all of those answers, and great to hear all that's going on. And we know that this is just before week what three is it of of your Hebrew study. So you you guys will be jumping onto that in the next half hour. So Niall, Emily, Mac, Emily M, David, thank you so much for your time. Uh, and certainly if there's any other young adults who are keen to get involved, I know that they can find uh, how to get in contact either on the Instagram or on Facebook, or they can send an email to info at glenabbey.church and we'll get them in contact with you guys. So I um, appreciate your time tonight. Thanks very much for joining us.